And this is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we're going to talk about some interior design ideas. Let's get to it. So a while back I made a video showing uh, different techniques that you could use to decorate the outside of your house and we talked about decorating it and making it photogenic so for those of you who want to post pictures on Instagram or Reddit or anything like that, uh, you can style it up and make it visually interesting. And then I asked if you guys wanted ideas for the inside of your house. So today we're going to talk a little bit about that. And by the way, if you missed the video on the exterior of the house, I will link it down in the description below and up there in the top right hand corner as well. So the inside is going to be a little bit different because the insides of houses are broken up into many different rooms and there's a lot of different techniques you can use. So for these videos for the inside of the house, I'm just going to cover a couple of different objects that you can put into your build and then you can eventually work them in to your build as you see fit. So today we're going to take a look at my take on a bookshelf, uh, my take on the stove and a little closet idea. So you can open it up and you got a little bit of storage in there. So we're gonna start off with the bookshelf. The bookshelf is spaced uh, apart with the uh, two meters like you see there. So to do this, what I did is I placed one of these pillars. So we'll just place one like that against the wall and you kind of inch it into the wall just a little bit like so. And then we want to grab this and we snap that there. And then when you snap the other one, it should snap level with the previous one. And then if we break that, you can see that they're level there. Now, the next thing you want to do is grab your pole again, pillar, whatever. And we're going to just eye that up with the previous one. And then do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of eye it up there. Now we need to put our shelf here. So to do that, we're just going to place this pillar against the back wall. And then you can just, you can put this wherever you want it. I'm going to put it, uh, yeah, let's put it level, level with that right there. Hold shift down so nothing snaps and we can just put it level with that. Now we can bring that out another one if you want. So we can hold, hold uh, shift down so nothing snaps and you can place it there to make it a little bit thicker, but then it sticks through a little bit like you see there. I'm just gonna leave that off and we're just gonna have a little bit of a skinny boy shelf there. Now to do the books, now I've seen a lot of different bookshelf takes, but usually what I see people do is they'll use the signs and I just don't really like the way the signs look. So what I've seen, and I'll show you this technique, you need a thicker, a thicker shelf for it. These are going to protrude through the back of the wall. But what I see a lot of people do is something like that and use that is like, but I don't really think that looks like, not that there's anything wrong with that. That's what you want to do. Go for it. I just don't think that that looks like books. I think this looks more like bound books that would be around this time because they would have a thick chunky spine to them uh, because binding technology was somewhat primitive. So, and everything was done by hand for making books at this time. So what I did is I take the, the, what, what the heck are these called? The item stands and place an item stand. Now it depends on, we'll, we'll do a couple that are just straight on first. So you place your item stand straight like that. And then you're going to place another one in line with it, but you want to line that up. So those little, those little knobs there, those little nubs are intersecting each other and touching the other side. So you end up with something like that. Now my shelf is a little too far back here than that other one. So a lot of it depends on how you're, you're placing your shelf to pull that shelf back out. So it's not as far in there. Uh, what we can do is place a shelf below. So I want my shelf to be right here, right? So I can see that it's there. I can just place one below it like that. And then I can delete the top one and then place it on that top one instead of on the wall behind it. And that will allow me to pull it out ever so slightly. Now it's a little further out and it should be where we want it. So now we're going to go back. I'm going to replace those real quick. And the reason you need it done like this, they can't overhang very far is because of how we're going to do that spine. Okay. So there we go. So now what I want to do is I want to grab this item stand and I want to make sure that that little knob, that little, whatever it is there that it mounts on is facing toward me like that. And then we're going to just line that up 
with the bottom and then push it back ever so slightly. Uh, that's not quite where we want it. This one's so hard to see because of that giant yellow square covers so much stuff up. Yeah, right there is where we want and it's as centered as we can get it. Okay, so now what we need is we need two of the tankards because we're gonna use the tankards to create the spine. Okay, so now we can place the first one there and if everything is done right, it clips in, it looks nice, it looks like a spine. Now we need to get the second one. So what we're going to do is grab our little item stand here. Again, it should still be facing the same way. And you wanna sink the first one down inside. We're gonna use two of these. If you place them angled on the side like this, you can see that little nub there is not centered. So if we place this first one, I'll place it out a little bit here so that you can see. You can see that nub there, it's not centered. It needs to be centered, otherwise when you place your tankard in there, it off-centers your spine. So you can see how off-centered that one is. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab that back. We're just going to delete that. So the first one you place is your platform to place your second one because you can't place directly down. Even if I, if I go up here, just a little bit. If I try to place it, it places below. So what we want to do is place on the side and then have that ever so slightly down inside our first tankard so that it creates a floor for us on the first one. And then we can place our second one and this one may take a few tries because once again, it's really difficult to see it. Once you place it, it should be something like that. And then we can place our tankard there and yeah, that's, that looks uh, looks pretty good. Ideally, you want it a little bit further down inside the other one so that there's no real gap there. Okay, there we go. That looks a lot better. So I just sunk our floor one there down into the previous one just a little bit more and then put the other one on top of it. And there we go. And then to create the, the angled ones, you just do the exact same thing, but you're just gonna angle your first two. So you just wanna angle it ever so slightly like that and then we're going to angle the other one in the opposite direction and then you place them like that and then i just showed you how to do the spine and then you're just going to do the same thing now let's continue the rest of our shelving here now that well if i stop putting my hammer in the the freaking item stand that would be nice so let's grab that let's try not to do that anymore so we're going to complete the rest of our item stand and i like using this torch here because we don't have candles in the game and I really wish we did, but this kind of reminds me of like a little bit of a candles thing sticking out there. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a base here. So we're gonna grab these and we're eventually gonna have these underneath here like this to hide the rest of the stem there of the, cause we use the standing torch. But if we try to place the sanding torch right now, depending on where you put your shelf at, it may or may not come to where you need it. So in order to fix that, all we have to do is use the little little uh, beam here and we're just gonna hold shift down and we're gonna place it right there. And then uh, let's see where that, that looks. So if we use that, uh, no, we need it to go just a little bit higher. So we're gonna grab another one here and we'll just place that one on top. And then let's see where that comes to. Okay, so that's not bad right there. So once you place this, you can delete those and that will be fine. It won't go anywhere because it's clipped inside of this one. So it has stability. Now we can just go back over here and we can grab either, well, we're gonna need these here because our shelf is a little too, too high here, a little higher than the other one, but we can just hold shift down and kind of eye that up and clip it in there and then do the same thing on the other side eye it up and clip it in there and there you go so this one is a little higher but i wanted to show you that you can place that shelf any way you want you can place it super high you can place it low um, you can put multiple shelves in there if you want if you wanted to do another one we can come over here we can remove these now if you have a situation where you have this and you don't want to see that that uh, stem there you can hold shift down and just put one of these in there like this one of the little ones and then do the same thing on the other side. Now, if we go to place our shelf back there, as long as you're facing that wall, you're gonna have the same situation. So we're gonna place that there. I'll hold shift down, kind of back up a little bit so that I can eye it up. That's where I want my bottom of it to be. And now I can aim for that one, pull my shelf out just a little bit delete that bottom one there. Oh, I deleted the wall. Delete that bottom one there. Uh, let's put the wall back. And then at the bottom there, we can snap these in there. 
like that. And now we've created two shelves. So that's how you can do the cool little bookshelf. And then from there, you can you can put more books in there as well. You can this will actually make your books look smaller because now the book will be clipped in a little bit. So you could do something like this, just clip it back ever so slightly and then spin it around and you can do the same thing. But with this, you're going to end up making your book look a little smaller and we can still get our tankard in there. Let's make sure that that's facing the right way. It is not. So we'll put it right like that, put that in there like that, and then we'll grab another tankard. And then if we place it in there, now it kind of looks like we got a little mini book. So we got tall books on top, we got little books on the bottom, but you can adjust that obviously, however you want it. And I just think it's a cool little little bookshelf. It's, it's neat, I like it. Okay, so now let's talk about how to do this cupboard situation. This one's relatively easy, isn't going to take very long, but I like the way that it looks. I think it's neat how it hides the storage. And then on top of this, you can put whatever you want. I just kind of put this up there. I'll show you how to do what I did here, but you can do whatever you want on the top, but you have a nice little cool shelf that you could even put the books on up there if you wanted to. All right, so to create the little cupboard, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our beam, we're gonna place our beam right there. Then we're gonna place a second beam right in front of it, lined up with the previous one. All right, so you should have something that looks like that. Now what you wanna do is lag a little bit while the world saves, and then we're going to snap a door to the front of that, like that. Then we're going to grab the wood pole uh, two meter and then we're going to snap it like that because there's two, there's two, well, there's three snap points on the door, but we're going to be using two to snap it like that. Then we can go back and we can delete the door and then we can place another one on the top and then we grab our little two meters or our one meters, one whatever's our little ones and we go place them there and then we can also place the little ones on the bottom there and there and so that's the shell now what we want to do is we want to come over here to our furniture grab our storage and we want to place our storage in there so we're going to place the first one and you want to push that back in there relatively far and then we're going to grab our building pieces we're going to grab our wood floor and we're going to push that against the back wall and lower it till it comes right down on top. You want to make sure that it's just barely touching, maybe clipped inside of it like it is there. And then we come back to the chest again, and we're going to use that one as our guide for our next chest to place on top of it. So we're going to place that there. Now you can delete that and this chest should be fine because it is supported by that one. Uh, it's just like, it won't let you so you can't place them on top of each other, but if the floor piece is there, then you can. Now we're gonna grab our wood gate, and the wood gate should, if you mess with it a little bit, snap down in there like that. I don't know why it's not letting me actually place it. Okay, so it looks like the wood gate was being interfered with by the chests. If that happens, just delete the chests, place the wood gate, open it up, and then you can place the chests back in there. So I don't know why that time it was making me build that backwards, but it was, so whatever. If that happens, there you go. Now you know how to deal with it. And you have a cool little little cupboard, little wood cabinet, and you can put these all over. The downside is, is because we use this door and not the other door, you can use the other door. I just don't like the way that the other door looks. So I will show you what the other door looks like. If you use this door, you can actually snap it in because you have the different snap points in there. Um, you can get it in there like that. I don't like it because it has both of these on both sides and uh, it's just a preference thing. So it's up to you which door you want to use. I like the other door better. If you use this door though, you can stack these on top of each other and it's, it'll be fine. If you use the gate door, they have to be ground level because they snap down into the ground. But then from there, if you want to get to the, the fire on top of it, like I had, uh, you just need to delete this chest here. And then we grab the sconce and then we're just going to push the sconce against the side here. And then you just push it up. And if this happens, if you want it higher than what it is, delete this and then continue to push it up until you get it to where you like it and make sure that you're facing on the side and not the back 
so uh, right about there that way it's clipped down inside you don't see the back at all and then we can put this back and there you go and then it's hidden and then once again to get that chest back you're gonna have to do the trick again and there you go and then you can have that little I don't know what you would call it at this point little tiny fire holder I don't know but I like the way that it looks compared to just having the sconce out and, and you know it's a different way to get light and it looks different in your base I think it's pretty cool and then the potion that I had up there was just the medium stamina potion you, you can decorate the top of that with whatever you want so the fireplace is like a whole thing so you're gonna start off with the two by one and we're gonna place a two by one and if this is on the ground you should be able to place it I'm not there's nothing weird going on here you're just able to do this so if the I know normally you can't place on what if I place there it's not gonna do it but uh, apparently if it's on the ground like that you can and then we're gonna grab stone archways and if you get them just right they should snap just kind of play around with it it's a little iffy until you get it to snap in there like that and then we're gonna do that again so you have that set up there and then snap that on the front so this is the basis we were already we're already getting there and then we're going to take these here and we're going to do the same thing again and then delete the ones in the back because that's going to be your chimney so now you have that there in the front and now we should be able to grab our fire and we can just place our fire place the fire back as far as it'll go so that that smoke ekes past there and now you're going to take the one one by one stone walls and you're going to place those on both sides of your fire and then you're going to take the two by ones and you're going to build those up and those are going to be your chimney and then you just build that as high as high as you need it you know whatever however big your house is build that as high as you need it now we're going to grab our wood flooring and we are going to place that across the front and then we're gonna grab the two meter pole and we're gonna place that on the sides and then on the bottom because I like the way that it looks and then the one and then place that and then there and then we grab the one there and place that there and that there okay so now to get the shield sunk down in there to create like the little bit of cutting board effect because that's what I was going for there um, we have to delete one of these we're going to come over here and we're going to grab our item stand and we're gonna make sure that it's facing the right way you want that little nub facing a long way like that and then what you want to do is zoom in nice and close and then you're gonna place that on the side but you want it sunken down just a little bit and you may have to place it a couple of times you also want it centered so uh, that's nope not quite where we want it we want it just a little bit lower you're basically doing it blind because it's so they really need to fix that like you cannot see it's so hard to see anything okay so that's about what we want there so that's gonna sink the shield down into the the floor so now we're gonna come over here we're gonna grab just a wooden tower shield and then we're going to place that on our item stand so now you can see it's sunk down eh, it's a little too far um, but it, it'll work if you want to you can just raise that up I'm a perfectionist so I'm going to raise it up just a little bit all right right there is perfect that's exactly what you want so take a look there you can see hopefully that gives you an idea of how I have it there and then we can place that in there now you can go in and you can place your uh, little uh, one by one back underneath of there should just clip right back in there and then it looks like you have that cool corrugated effect just sunken down in there like a cutting board now for everything else it's just item stands so for on top of this I just come over here we'll just grab an item stand and then you can put whatever food you want on there so we can just grab one of these pies place a pie there and then you can put the item stands on the fire as well that's how I got the bread in there so we can just place the item stand like that let's come over here and grab some bread so and then we just uh, place the bread back there like that it looks like we got the bread in the fire now for the knife I did the same thing with the knife that I did with this because if you just place the knife here like this if we just place a knife if I hit the right key that looks not great uh, I it looks terrible to be honest you can see that it's on the stand so what we want to do is just sink that sand ever say yes yeah, stink stink the stink the stand 
ever so slightly down inside of there. Now you can use these to push it further out so that it clips into the thing at a different location. So like if you don't want it clipped right on the, the seam here, what you can do is place your item stand like that and then we're gonna rotate it ever so slightly and place another one up oh, nope not down there place another one right there and then let's delete that one in the back because that's gonna drive me nuts and then we can place the knife down so we'll place the knife on this one and then we can place the little one by one piece back in there and then now we can delete that one because we don't need it anymore. And that just looks a little bit better and you can actually sink that down even more like I had the one there at the base, the original one that I built. You'd use the same technique I just showed you to sink it down a little bit more so that it sets flush with it and that that little item stand clips down there. But you can see that's level and that just looks, even from a distance, that looks a little bit better. Now, when you get up on top of it, you can see something wonky's going on there, but for the most part, it looks, it does look far better. And then we can place another angle piece right here and then we can come over here and just grab, the blood pudding looks good because it's already on a cutting board. So it just kind of, it, it looks nice. So we place that like that. Now the tool rack across the top, the to place that you need to actually build a forge nearby and then you can place the tool rack and then you just delete the forge and then you have the tool rack up there. And then I just put this item stand right here and then we stuck an ax up there. You can do the same thing though with the, this here that we did before. So if I, cause I don't really like the way, I mean the item stand looks fine, but it's better when it's sunken in or covered up a little bit more. So we can delete that. We can actually delete this and we can grab this item stand here. And if I want it, we can put it right about like that. And then I can bring, well, that one might be out a little too far, but you can actually, you can stack these. So we can put this one a little further back than what we would want. So we'll put that one like right there. And then we can stack on top of that one right there. And now if I place my ax there and then I go back over here and I grab that stone piece and we can place that back in there. Now it's, it's sunken in there a little bit more and it's gonna, a lot of it's also going to depend on the stone situation that you have here. So this one, the texture that we got here, it's showing a little more. Let's flip it around and see if we can get something a little bit better there. Yeah, oh, nope, uh, it was, it was, it did look, see, I like when it snaps, but then when it places, it goes, it goes wonky. It looks good like that. Ideally, this is what you want. So that just, there's less there and, and it looks like just the holders there and the holders a little more streamlined, but I don't know why. I mean, we could sink that back a little bit more to get it just perfect, but I've showed you enough that you get the idea. You should understand how that works and how you can play with that a little bit to, to get that effect. And then on the side, I also had a bucket. So to get the bucket, you're also going to need to place the forge down and then we can place the forge cooler by the side because if this was a cook area, you would most likely have a bucket of water nearby. All right, well, hopefully this video helped spark some creativity in you for some interior design ideas. If you would like to see more videos like this on other interior design ideas, let me know down there in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Before I wrap up this video, I want to give an absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Elite Crow Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment. Just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.